Morning everybody, it's another new day. We're on our way in to do some trucking. I gotta pick up a load in Winnipeg and bring it to Selkirk, straight north of Winnipeg, or sort of northeast, north up the Red River. That's my first, my first mission for today. It's gonna be fun, it looks like it's gonna be a fair weather day. Nice fall day. I'll see you when we get to the truck. Open it up, let me in. I got freight to deliver. Come on. Come on. Slowest gate ever. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate that. Pretty hard to do my job if you don't let me in. There's a lot of trucks here today. Wow. Is it Friday or what? Yikes. So here's 2025 up here by the tent. It's just parked here. No one driving it. It's that Peterbilt there on the right. Need a driver for that, I think. Lots of trailers here today too. Full yard, I can just imagine, or I should say I can't even imagine how full it's gonna be here tomorrow. You know, everybody wants to come, come home for the weekend, and that's great. <laughs> but then we don't have a place to park. <laughs> uh, we make it work. There's always a place to park. Like we just make a place. Looks like there's some guys here warming up their trucks already. We are here too. Mine's right on the end. I always sneak into this little spot right here, right beside the truck. And then I can put my stuff in the passenger side and do the pre-trip and then I go and park my pickup out of the way. Oh, yeah, you guys ready? Ready to go to Selkirk? So exciting. I don't know exactly what I'm bringing there or where I'm going, but I haven't been there. Oh, when was the last time we went there? To see that giant fish. I was in uh, the terrain then, personal vehicle, and I took you to see that landmark, which I, I know a lot of you in the comment sections have been asking for me to continue the, the 100 or 101 landmarks of Manitoba. I have been planning to do that. I was actually going to do that on the motorcycle, but this summer has been so crazy busy with everything. It seems every time I get a spare day, uh, something pops up. Like uh, I built the deck in front of our house or replaced the deck uh, earlier this year. And then, you know, we, we want to see our friends and family too when we can. And throughout the beginning of this year, we weren't able to. So when they did allow us to, we sort of wanted to take advantage of that on our days off. You get it. You get it. All right, I've got one coffee in me already. And take this one along for later. Oh, don't forget this. Gonna move into the semi and get her warmed up. Well, I was about to say we're uh, out here playing in traffic, but there's not much traffic out here, so we're just playing on the highway. Got a step deck behind me with a load of boxes, crates, transformers. All kinds of other things on there. I gotta take it up to Selkirk like I was telling you. Uh, we're gonna go up McPhillips, or I guess it would be what, Highway 8, north of the perimeter? If you're familiar with the area. If not, well, Selkirk. You can look at a map. Winnipeg, just north of Winnipeg. If you're new to the vlog, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. We make new videos every day as we truck around Manitoba here. We're in Manitoba, Canada just north of Minnesota and North Dakota. So we're from Southern Manitoba. Welcome here. Been making videos every day for about 10 years. I used to be over the road, traveling all around Canada and the US. And if you read my description below my videos, it'll explain what we're doing here now. Man, these areas are popping up fast. Yikes. 
See, this is Main Street North. It goes to Selkirk as well, but it, it goes through a residential area and the speed limits are a lot slower. It'll be faster if we just go up the next road. Sort of like the bypass. A lot of very nice properties up that way. Uh, if you are well off in the Winnipeg area, chances are you might live in that area. But there's many other well off areas. Winnipeg is uh, got a surprisingly a surprising amount of prosperity. A lot of people wouldn't know that, but I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Google is correcting me now. I probably should have gone up Main Street. Like I said, I thought this would get around the uh, residential area, and it does. It, it does get me all around those residential areas, but I don't think it was any faster. It may have been just as fast, but we're going to take 67 back across over to 9. At least we didn't lose any time. We just sort of went a little further around unnecessarily. Here's the sign to Selkirk. Whoops, a doodles. All right, 67. Take me to Selkirk. At least this worked, and I realized it before I went past 67. For some reason, I thought that this was a different road. gonna go past it though and I'm like I better check my map my GPS just to make sure I don't miss my turn turned out being just like a couple of miles ahead no harm no foul no time lost in my head I had just pictured it differently I don't go to this area very often like I said I haven't been to Selkirk in a truck in oh who knows a long time I haven't been here since last winter. I don't come up here very often. I'm from the southeast. So I don't have much, and I don't know anybody in this area really that I would go visit often. But still, take this as a lesson. Double check your route before you leave. Don't just go, oh, I know my way. I know my way, I'm, I'm, I'm from Manitoba. getting unloaded right now and once they're done unloading they've got some stuff for me to take back to where I picked this up so I'm unloading and reloading right here that's why I'm not that's why I'm not putting the straps away yet because I'm gonna need them right away again say it was a bullet. Bullet went through there and it's still running like a solid Peterbilt. This is what we got here. Pretty much exactly the same stuff I brought here except this is used stuff. Brought them new stuff and taking the old stuff back. Good thing I had this on or I'd lose my brains all over the place. Brain bucket. Oh, we need the air conditioning now. It's that time of day. All right. How many of you can say your truck got struck by a bullet and still runs? It may have been a rock, but it was like a speeding bullet. It was a bullet. I'm telling you. Gotta do a little loop to doop here. <coughs> oh, don't want to cough like that in front of too many people. <laughs> They start looking at you funny and slowly moving away. Oh, I think they were all waiting for me to move. Suddenly everybody's moving. Why didn't they just come and tell me? I could have moved and tied down elsewhere. I didn't know I was in the way. They're all moving around here. Oh, now I feel bad. I 
feel bad. I wasn't in any particular rush. I was just, you know, tying down my stuff and then checking for messages when I got back in the truck. I could have easily gotten out of here a lot sooner for them. No one told me that they were waiting for me to move. Whoops. Oh well. If it really was that big of a deal, they would have uh, they would have come and told me to move. Sometimes they load me up and then I can slowly, you know, move to a different area of the yard to tie it down if it's too much in the way where I am, but I guess I will. No one said anything. We're going back exactly where we came from. This should take up most of my day. So I might be done after this. Not too sure. It might send me out on something else yet. Spin tire on pavement. I think I've told you that before. That's what my dad always told me, these red signs, what they stood for. STOP, spin tires on pavement. So if you didn't know, now you know. Ah, no, tried, can't, can't spin my tires. Shoot, I hope they don't get mad at me. I wasn't able to. Off we go. Story of my life, off we go. Bringing stuff over there from over here. So this is going directly down Highway 9, which turns into Main Street once we hit Winnipeg. Probably takes the same amount of time as going around the long way that we went before, just because the speed limit here is like 80 kilometers an hour. I think it's going down to 70 here in a bit. And a lot of people living down here. This is a very it's a historic stretch of Manitoba between Winnipeg and Selkirk. A lot of old properties and a lot of uh, new, very wealthy properties. We're driving right along the Red River. It's just off to our left over there. It's about a uh, half a mile over there. So all of this property here is right along the river for the most part. This was some of the first settled land in Manitoba. And I mean, the Red River was used as a trade road for thousands of years before we even got here. So it's very valuable land. Very valuable land. Lots of expensive, lots of doctors and lawyers in this area. Not a lot of trucker Joshes. Uh, oh well, different, different lifestyles for different folks, right? Some people really like the city life, and I understand why. Everything's convenient, everything's close by. You know, when you go to get groceries, it's just five minutes around the corner, and you're at the grocery store. In the countryside, when you go to get groceries, it's a whole afternoon event. You know, it's like half an hour, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to the grocery store. And then while you're in town, you gotta get a bunch of other errands done so you don't have to come back to town twice. So it's like a whole afternoon. I get it, inconvenient for some people. City people usually, you know, they like things now, right now. Whereas country people, we're more used to, we're more used to a slower pace and waiting for things. Oh, we'll get her done, eventually. Everything takes time.
fenders still don't match. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. This is an old unit that they just use for around the city here around the old stuff. Our highway tractors are newer tractors. And they would never send this truck out very far. But I like driving it. The older ones are the better ones. It's got some nice pipes on it. It goes. Sounds like a real truck. It's not one of these new automatics. It's standard. I like it. It's nothing pretty to look at, but hey, maybe one day I'll, uh, maybe one day we'll, uh, we'll get this one refurbished. I don't know. We'll see. For now, it's all right. I know they don't match, and I'm, it, it's okay. Thanks for letting me know, though. Oh, yeah. Turn her down there, Garth Brooks. Okay. Well, mediocre day is a good kind of day. As long as we went trucking, we're happy, right? That's all that makes me happy. Nothing to report today. Went to Selkirk, back to Winnipeg. Took up the whole day. Now it's time to go home for my Rockstar welcome. I hope it's ready. Yesterday it wasn't completely ready. It was only about half ready. I hold them to a high standard. Open says me. I, Trucker Josh, command you. I want to go home. You have to think about it, eh? You have to think about it, eh? Tell you what. You don't want to listen to me. I'll get out there. I'll kick you. I'll kick a gate. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'd get in trouble. I'd just go around to the other gate, but... Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh I hit the pothole. We're going to dodge it today.